Daring stunts with an e-bike that achieves top speeds of 80 kilometers an hour aren't meant to be tried at home. This prototype, built by German carmaker Audi, is being tested by French pro Julien Dupont. E-bike is not more. E-bikes aren't just for people who are 60 and over anymore, they're for everyone. Once considered a gadget for wimps, electric bicycles are gaining appeal. Car makers now see a potentially lucrative market opening up. Journalist Bjorn Gertheis has been watching developments. Car makers have a lot of know-how at their disposal and are experts in building vehicles. They can build a combustion engine, and they know how to put it on four wheels. And by contrast, a bicycle isn't so complicated. Car makers, of course, have a different focus, and electromobility is an area where they need to be doing more. E-bikes have a battery-powered motor which eases the pedaling, but the motor can also be turned off completely. For most models, the motor will only reach speeds of up to 25 kilometers an hour, but some bikes have clocked 100 kilometers an hour. Easy riding has made e-bikes increasingly popular in Germany. I can get up any hill. I never work up a sweat and can still go fast much of the time. It's a comfortable ride to work, and when it's hot out, co-workers are jealous. Bicycle stores are responding to demand by beefing up their selection and stocks. High-end models cost upwards of 1,500 euros. We see school children, university students, single parents and other single people all riding e-bikes. These bikes make up 35% of sales and in the coming years we're going to see more of them. Another trend is the increasingly elegant design. Many electric bicycles look just like normal bikes at first glance. Both the frames and the batteries have gotten slimmer, but there's no getting rid of the battery entirely. The core element of an e-bike is the battery. Without it, you can't ride the bike. It takes two to four hours to charge the battery, and then you have enough power for 40 kilometers. The price is an interesting aspect. If you go to fill up your car, you can easily spend 100 euros. For an e-bike battery, you pay 10 to 20 cents, depending on the provider. This Model 2 has little in common with the clunky first-generation e-bikes. It was designed by German-Iranian architect Tadi Teherani. The development took one year. So far, 200 of them have been made. The main focus was on making a pure bicycle. We didn't want to create a sort of mutant bicycle-motorcycle hybrid. It must stay a bicycle, and it is a very elegant, pure bicycle, where the motor is simply integrated into the front wheel. Hadi Teherani's 3,000 euro e-bike has a lot of special details, including an unobtrusive battery level display and a stylish chain guard to protect trouser legs from grease. Unusually, the rechargeable battery was mounted on the handlebars. We found a solution where we said, this is like a briefcase I used to ride around, and I take this briefcase home with me in the evening, where I can recharge the batteries. The smart e-bike by Daimler is also new. Due to hit shops in June, it's the first e-bike mass-produced by an automobile manufacturer. It can hit speeds of up to 25 kilometers per hour and is meant as a zippy alternative to driving a car in the city.